Hello everyone. I'm Suzanne, owner of Mosaic Oasis. This is my friend and assistant, Lori Manfra. Hello. Hi, and we have masks because we're being responsible and we're not socially distant, as you can <laughs> see. Um, today we're gonna sh give a short video on how to make um, the class's mosaic collage using tempered glass. Uh, tempered glass is the glass that you see in windshields, it doesn't shatter, it kind of crinkles, and it makes a really nice um, mosaic effect. So this is a finished mosaic, and today we're gonna do part one. Lori's gonna do part one for us, and that's making your paper collage. You make a paper collage first, and then on top of it you can put either clear glass, clear glass is for things you wanna see clearly, and then you use tempered glass, which is this crinkly glass, of things you want to make kind of a watery looking. You don't see them as clear. This particular mosaic I did, and it includes ticket stubs of places we've been. This is a railway ticket from England. This is a ticket of a perfume place we went to in France. This is a place we had um, actually a Thanksgiving day in Belgium. This, covered in blue, didn't work out so well, so I would not suggest using it. Um, dark colored glass, but I have tons, I have plenty of clear glass. And then the rest is covered with the tempered glass. But let's focus on part one. So I'm going to be doing the film. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about are your materials. So what you need, and you're going to be doing this at home. So you're going to come in to Mosaic Oasis and you're going to get, you can choose either an 8 by 10 board that Lori has started her mosaic on, or an eight by eight board. You can get that. And then also um, you need a pair of scissors, which you can, I'm sure you all have at home. And then you need, um, I, I will give you glue, the weld bond glue, which is right there. But what you're gonna do with the glue, when you get home, you're gonna mix it 50% uh, glue with 50% water you want to have kind of a milky texture to it. And the reason why we dilute it is because when you start to glue down your, um, your, your paper to make a collage, if you use the glue at full strength, it's too bumpy and lumpy. And, but this will hold just fine. And remember, we're going to be gluing glass on top of it. So it will stay. The mosaic that I showed you, um, that I made, um, I mean, I've had that, oh, that's probably eight or nine years old by now. So it'll last a very long time. The other stuff you need, you need paper and you, you need images. Any images that you want to see fully, um, we're gonna cover with clear glass, but you're gonna come into, first you're gonna look through your own stash at home to see what you want. But you could also, you could use old calendars, like Lori is showing us an old Bon Appetit calendar. That's where she got her paper. There's a beautiful, I have here a beautiful William Morris design calendar. You can take that, cut that up. Um, yep, I have a lot of paper here that you can come, when you come in to get your materials, you can, you know, you can look through all of this paper. It's really kind of, um, we have lots of fun stuff. We have tissue paper, we have lots of design paper. So you're gonna have a mix of things that you find at your own home, um, pictures or ticket stubs or designs, anything you want, and a combination um, of what I have here. A great place to look, calendars are good. If you have old National Geographic uh, magazines, there's a lot of tissue paper that works well. We also have um, sparkle, got some sparkle here, that works well. And we're gonna, we have some embellishments. We'll talk about embellishments later. But first, um, we're gonna watch as Lori starts to um, put down, starts her paper collage. So she picked her kind of focal point was from the Bon Appetit calendar. And she has the image of the fish and she has um, writing. And I think that writing is what she wants to, to show. So she's, oops, hold up. Yep, the writing. And she put, she just used a tooth, um, paintbrush. Yep, just put it down. 
And now she's gonna continue. I'm gonna let her work on it a bit and we'll be right back with you and we'll see as she works. Um, when she's about, when she gets a little more, a third of the way done, we'll, we'll come back to you to show you what she's done. See you soon. Okay, we're back. So as you see, Lori um, has put some, we stuck some paper towels. Um, you can, yep, yeah, you can put, so you put a little bit of the glue underneath, but you can just paint right on top. That glue will dry clear. And you see she's kind of layered the paper. She's got that really pretty green tissue paper under those stripy parts. And she's put some of the golden white paper like covering part of the leg. So, you know, you can be imaginative. She's also wrapped it around the side. You see that wrapped around the side a bit. So you can do that um, as well. We won't be covering the sides with glass. We'll probably, well, part of the class includes a frame. So that's a good way to kind of see the, the edges. Um, so we'll just kind of watch use here. This is a really fun project because it's, I don't know, it's just fun. It's fun to fiddle through the paper and think about what you want to do. You can put pictures, you know, pictures of you, of your family. I kind of like to keep it a little more abstract. Um, the glue that we use will dry clear. It takes a little while for the glue to clear, but it will turn clear. So um, most anything you put down will, um, will, will show up. I'm gonna come around this way. I love that, it looks like um, Charlie Tuna, but it's not, right? It's salmon. <laughs> And this doesn't take very long. This is what you'll be doing between the, um, the first class and the second class. Um, and you'll be doing this at home. You can make your kind of design and paper and any little spots that you have, you can just fill in with like, just kind of like a mosaic, you can fill it in with just plain colored paper. So Lori is about three quarters of the way done. And um, yeah, that's looking cool. So there was, she's got a few little spots of like um, where the wood is showing. So why don't you point those out, Lori? Yeah, here, here. Yeah, this big area. So that area I would continue with your collage, but the space between the orange stripes and the blue tissue paper, like yep, that little spot and over by the arm, or the fin, I should say. Yes, those little areas, if you don't want to fill them completely in, you can use some embellishment, and I'll show you those. So mostly, um, because all of the, the glass is clear, so what is behind the glass is gonna show through, is gonna show through. So you don't really want any of the board, like this board here, to show through, but we have at the studio, and you can use this, some embellishments here. So you see these little Millie Fiori. These are little gem blobs. These are small little tiles. These are little um, petals. Um, oh, where is it? These little petals, those can be used. You've got some little squares, and we have some little colorful circles. Those things can be put in when you're adding the tempered glass um, to cover up some bare spots. So you don't have to fill every single space with um, a collage, but it's nice to fill most of it. So I'm gonna let Lori continue working. She's almost done here. And then we'll take a look at the finished collage.